In this video, we'll talk about whether CaOH2 is an acid, base, or neutral when it's in water. So we're talking about calcium hydroxide in water. In this picture right here, we have calcium hydroxide, but it's a solid. So it doesn't make sense to talk about pH. It's not dissociated into its ions, so we really we can't talk about pH. One of the simpler acid and base theories says that if you have H+, that's going to be an acid. So if we have HCl, that'll break apart into H+, Cl-, minus. that'll give us an acid. For bases, they break apart into the metal here, and then an ion, a hydroxide ion, OH-. minus. So we can see we have this OH here, it's bonded to a metal, that's going to be a base. Don't be confused though, because you can see something like this where you have an OH bonded to a carbon. When that happens, this isn't a metal here, this is an organic compound, and this is called an alcohol. So it's not all of the OHs, it's only when they're bonded to a metal. You could also memorize a list of the strong acids, strong bases, and then the weak acids, and weak bases. If you do that, you will see, coming down our list here, that calcium hydroxide, that is a strong base. So we've established that calcium hydroxide, that's a base. But calcium hydroxide's a little bit tricky, and I want to just talk briefly about that so you understand what's going on. When we talk about a strong base, we say that it dissociates 100%. It dissociates completely in water. So that means it'll completely break apart. When that dissolves, the parts that are dissolved, they'll break apart the whole way. With calcium hydroxide, it doesn't dissolve a whole lot. If we looked at a table of solubilities here, we'd see for calcium hydroxide, 1.89 grams per liter at zero degrees Celsius. It even has a KSP here because so little of it dissolves. NaOH, on the other hand, 418 grams per liter, several hundred times more than calcium hydroxide. It doesn't have the KSP. It really doesn't make sense since this dissolves so well. This dissolves. It's a strong base. It dissociates completely into its ions. We have Na plus and OH minus. For the calcium hydroxide, a little bit of it dissolves. But because that little bit that dissolves breaks apart into the calcium ion and the hydroxide, two hydroxide ions, that makes it a strong base. Probably a little more than you wanted to know, but it's important to think about these things as we look at compounds that are hydroxides but behave quite differently. This is Dr. B answering the question whether calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, is an acid base or neutral in water. And the answer is it's a base, a strong base. Thanks for watching.